Hello and welcome to Babushka Land. Today I'm going to show you how to make an automatic smelter. You are going to need 6 chests, 24 hoppers, 8 furnaces, 2 minecarts with hoppers, 5 powered rails, 10 blocks, 2 redstone lamps, 19 rails, 2 redstone torches, and 2 levers. Let's get started. First, place down your exit treasure chest. This is where all of the smelted items will end up. I've already connected it to my hopper line, and I've placed this redstone lamp here, and I've turned it on with a lever so that items do not go into the hopper line. First, connect eight hoppers to your exit treasure chest. Next, throw eight furnaces on top. Attach 8 hoppers to the back of your furnaces. Attach 8 hoppers to the top of your furnaces. From behind it should look like this. First tower up on the far side. Place a block on the side there. Delete this block underneath. You want roughly the same structure on the other side here. Like so. Put a redstone torch underneath this block here and put a redstone torch on this block here. Go to the other side. Place blocks like this. Swing over to here, grab your redstone lamps, place one redstone lamp here, and place one here. Attach your levers to your redstone lamps. Put one powered rail down and build the regular rail on top of the hoppers. Do the same thing on the lower level. Test it out to see if it's working. You can place your mine carts down. Make sure the carts are going back and forth. Okay, that's perfect. When you turn off your redstone lamps, your mine carts should stop moving. Actually, since this works, I'm going to extend it out a little bit further. Let's switch this around a little bit. So if we put this here, we're going to put the redstone lamp a little bit further out. Going to attach the lever here. That's going to be way better. That's better. Now you have access from the front, so you can always open this minecart here, put your fuel in, and open this minecart here and put the things you want to cook inside. So let's test out the rails and see if they work. Excellent. 
One quick correction, I made a mistake. You don't need five powered rails, you only need four. You don't need to place two on this part here because if you do, it will stop on the first powered rail that's unpowered when you turn off the lever. So this way it stops so that you can access the front. So now that it's all set up, let's test it out. In this minecart here, we're gonna put some fuel. So I've got some lava, some dried kelp, and some charcoal. And in this minecart here, we're gonna cook some kelp and some netherrack. Now let's test it out. Look at that, everything is cooking nicely. We've got some kelp going, we've got some nether rack, pork is done, and it also returns the empty buckets once it's done with using the lava as fuel. Perhaps the minecarts are accelerating too fast from this powered rail, so they're skipping over the, uh, the last furnace, but I think that could be rectified by just extending the, uh, the line uh, one more block longer. As you can see, I have extended the rails out one more block. Hopefully that will make it so that this last furnace receives items and gets powered. Let's find out. Get some fuel in here. Look at that, the automatic smelter is now fully functioning. If you want to turn it off, you just hit these switches. Once your items are cooked, they will all be deposited into the exit treasure chest. I have connected my exit treasure chest to my automatic item sorting system. So if I hit this switch right here, these items will be sent into my automatic item sorting system. And that way I don't have to organize anything myself. Once you've made sure everything is functioning, you can put some treasure chests on top. Your hoppers will now take whatever's in the treasure chest and transport them to where you need them. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found this helpful. Have a nice day.